Monday morning and what a glorious morning it is as well. A chance to take in some of the Welsh scenery whilst we still have a bit of sun. Oh, what a day. Beautiful, beautiful day. I love this hill. <laughs> I must admit, I'm a bit strange there because I do love hills. But then, I also love the downhills as well. Tuesday. These are the mornings that I do love. Sunny. It just makes everybody so happy. Come on, give me, give me a bit of a break. I know I should be editing. I know, but come on, look at the weather, man. The weather in this country, you've got to grab it while you can. And today's one of those mornings when you just got to grab it. Anyway. Okay, Monday. No, it's not. What day is it today? Thursday. I know that I have a lot of work to do. Uh, I've got 35, I got three days in work before I drive off. I got, what is it? I got, what are we going about? I got three days in work before I go to London for the International Jewellery of London in Olympia. So I've got a lot of work to condense in those three days. Within those three days, I've got filming to do for At The Bench. Um, I have a particular project that is a hairband bangle. Uh, not many of you know, I don't think, what a hairband bangle is, but it's simply um, like a silver torque bangle. So it's that sort of shape. It doesn't go all the way around the wrist. There's always a gap and there's a groove down the center. And that's a place where ladies and girls can put their hairbands. Um, and I've got another commission to make up also by Saturday as I got a client coming in because I have to get everything done before I go away because I'm away for three days and then I have the rest of the week off taking my daughters back to universities. Uh, one daughter is up in Coventry, one daughter is in Exeter, my other daughter is in London so I have to split myself three ways and take them all back to their relevant universities. But I think it's going to have to be a cup of coffee. First things first, man, it's gotta be coffee. Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench. And that's where we have that little bit of an introduction.
Right, I'm gonna carry on hammering that little bit of silver whilst you watch perhaps a nice time lapse of the street outside. So many of you may not know that um, I also do some consulting work as well for other firms, other companies around the world. Tool companies as well in particular. Tools, I love, love tools. And I've just received this box here from New Concepts. Yeah, the, uh, those red, I think, awesome piercing saws that you've seen, you've seen me use, uh, many of you may see me demonstrate at some of the uh, trade shows, IJL, NEC, that sort of thing. I get tools sent me, absolutely love the whole idea of tools, and we've been playing with tools, showing tools, making tools, helping companies develop tools, Many, many years, and I just love it when I get a parcel like this. How the heck do I open this pizza box? You can tell I don't have pizza that often, don't you? Okay, one item in here I cannot show you. Cool, look at that. Can't show you. Absolute top secret, let's have a look. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, can't show you. But in the rest of the package, when you back. So, the guys at New Concepts are always coming up with new ideas. Uh, a few months ago, they came up with this, these awesome ideas. The cutouts, in the New Concepts titanium stores, they have these little cutouts that they punch out. And they had buckets and buckets and boxes and boxes, loads and loads of them. What can they do with them? Well, they actually produce little trivets to enable you, when you come to solder, to put your piece upon it, so you can get your flame and your torch underneath it to get a really good heat. Well, literally, within a matter of a couple of days, they actually sold out. And now they're, they've remade these trivets. Simple, trivets, triangular, three-sided. You put these down, you put your piece on top, perhaps you're soldering a bezel onto a top piece, or you need to get the flame underneath and the top at the same time. On your bench, something on top, whatever you're soldering, the flame can get underneath, absolutely brilliant. Better than using perhaps a, a soldering wig or anything like that. So, I've got three to play around with. Also, not a well-known fact, but uh, titanium soldering clamps. They make these titanium strips. These are, what are they, four inches? Four inches in length. And the last titanium strips, I think, were about a millimeter in thickness. And the idea is you go and bend them. In fact, let me just go quickly go and show you. Give me get some. So we've used these clamps, and we had them, and they were just simple, simple strips, as you can see. And we have bent them into an assortment of shapes, as we've got there. I've also got a few more downstairs, but I couldn't find them quickly. And the idea is, again, titanium is absolutely brilliant. It doesn't draw the heat away like steel does. Um, it, it keeps its springiness about it as well, and you can bend them and shape and saw them and file them into whatever shape you want. Some people have said though that bending these are a little bit awkward because they're about a millimeter thick. So, New Concepts, Brian and Lee have come up with these same strips, but they're a little bit thinner, they're about half a millimeter. But don't go out wanting to buy these just yet. Trivets, you can go and buy them. I'll put the link down below in the description. But these titanium strips, they are not available yet. They have been sent out to me and others around the world to play with and to experiment with, just to see whether the half a millimeter thickness is gonna be the best. And I'm sure that there are plenty of bench jewelers out there who just love new tools. So the reason why I brought my car to work today because I have a bit of an errand to run. In fact, I just realized I'm going the wrong way. Um, I'm going to look at some 
jewelry making equipment. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's there. All I know is that uh, a client of mine, her son-in-law used to be a goldsmith and there's loads of stuff apparently in the garage that they want to sell. So I don't know what we've got or if it's going to be any good. I really don't know. Opportunities like this don't come around that often. So it always pays to check them out because there could be something that I really do want. And if I have, oh, look at the traffic. And if there is stuff there that I already have, I'll still buy it anyway, because there's always people out there wanting secondhand jewelry equipment. Why have we got traffic going through Massey Cummer? It's Sunday afternoon. No, it's not Sunday. It's Saturday. It's Saturday afternoon. Just finished work and I'm off to London. Off to London for trade show at Olympia. It's the International Jewellery London. It used to be held at Earl's Court, but since Earl's Court now has been knocked down for redevelopment, they've moved it all over to Olympia. This is the third year that it's been at Olympia. And for Sutton Tools and Betts Metal Sales, it's the first time that they have been at Olympia. You know you've got a long journey ahead of you when your sat nav happens to say Continue for 96 miles Oh spot on! Yeah, long time. How was that for planning? <laughs> uh, couldn't have got that any better if I tried. It's time for that comfort break I was just talking about. I've got about another hour, hour and 10 minutes left, but the call of nature is upon me and I need a come on break. admit I do love coming to London. One of my daughters, Charlotte, she's studying medicine in St. Bart's Queen Mary and I just love coming up here visiting. Kerry, she can't stand London. I love it. But I love the smell, I love the atmosphere, I love the sounds, I love the skyline. I just like everything about London.
Okay, I have parked my car and I really don't know where I'm going. I guess it's this way. Okay, what's your surname? Uh, Barry, B-E-R-R-Y. Okay, so everything was already prepared for you. Yes, thank you. We're going to be in a nice executive room. Okay, cool. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Take care, thank you now. She seemed very nice, didn't she? Fourth floor, executive suite. Ooh, it's posh.